This is Christina Fiore of MedPage Today reporting from the American Academy of Neurology meeting in Seattle. Inhibition of glutamate receptors may play a key role in migraine treatment. An investigational glutamate receptor inhibitor, ADX159, performs significantly better than placebo only at a two-hour time point. But the findings establish the potential of these compounds in preventive treatment of migraine, as Dr. Peter Goadsby of the University of California, San Francisco, explains. So the study was a randomized parallel group placebo control study with in acute migraine. Half the patients had uh, placebo and half the patients had the uh, metabotropic glutamate receptor, uh, neuro, uh, the allosteric modulator. At the standard time point to use for an analysis in an acute study, the International Headache Society recommended time point is at two hours. That's based on the concept that acute migraine is highly disabling and you want to be able to do things in a reasonable uh, time frame. So the, the, that was the primary endpoint. And, and as you said, at two hours, the, pa the patients who took the um, active compound, the, um, the metabotropic glutamate receptor modulator, if you want, had a better response than placebo. That wasn't observed at all the time points. And indeed, if you watched out further, um, that, that good effect was not, uh, certainly not maintained at the 24 hour point. So what the study demonstrates is that there is an involvement of metabotropic glutamate receptors, or at least that modulating them can affect migraine. So it gives you a, a, an important pathophysiological hint of their involvement, but I think actually suggests that the glutamate story um, is going to have more uh, utility as a preventive approach than in an acute attack approach. Glutamate receptors have a history of potential use in migraine. Now the main transmitter in the brain that's involved in excitation, turning things on, is glutamate. So there's been a thinking about glutamate and migraine for at least uh, two decades in some way and some hints that glutamatergic uh, transmission may be important in migraine. On the therapeutic side, there have been studies on what are called the inotropic glutamate receptors. Um, at least two compounds have been studied. The study that we did was on the metabotropic glutamate receptors. So there are bro two broad classes. One receptor lets ions through and the other one has second uh, messenger mechanisms. We wanted to explore whether the, broadly speaking, the metabotropic glutamate receptor class would be a target in migraine. And so the study was uh, done for that reason. In that context of metabotropic uh, glutamate receptors is completely unique. The results from this study suggest further research of the compound in migraine prevention. Yeah, so the, the next thing that's happened is building on that concept that um, turning down overactivity in the brain would be a good thing for migraine sufferers generally so they were less triggered and on the general principle that migraine prevention is the really big unmet need out there in the community uh, there's a study that's just uh, gotten going of uh, this compound in in the prevention of migraine so regular use to try and reduce uh, frequency and severity of attacks Dr. Goadsby said the acute attack result in this study makes it logical to pursue prevention as the next step. I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today.